Now we are in the third part uh, where we have to investigate Bragg diffraction. Uh, before doing that one, uh, normally what I did, I set the frequency to two and you have to uh, increase the, the power so that you can have around, let's say, uh, 1,500 or something like this, okay? Uh, the heater, it has a limit, it's I think 2,000. If it's above, it, if intensity above 2,000, you can't measure anything. So you have to make sure that it's between 2,000 and 1,000. So in my case, I set to 1,500, the intensity. The frequency is, is set to two. Uh, now, in this part of the experiment, I placed the, 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 the cubic in the, on the orientation. So you can see this metal, so they are oriented in the, uh, in the Miller index like one, zero, zero. Okay, so in this part, in the first part of the experiment, what you have to do, uh, the ganiometer here is set to zero. You can see the angle. Now, uh, what you have to do is that basically you rot rotate the ganiometer one degree clockwise, like slightly you rotate one degree clockwise, basically. Then you rotate the, the receiver by two degrees. Now, here you have uh, a knob where you can uh, tighten so that it will be set in one position. So I rotate it two degree clockwise. I set it, take the readings. Then I rotate this ganiometer by one degree. And then I rotate this one two degree clockwise. So every time you have to rotate the ganiometer one degree and the receiver two degrees. And you have to take the readings. So that means you're taking the angle of the ganiometer so one degree every time, then you rec record the, the intensity, okay? So uh, in your case, you have to take the readings from zero up to 70 degrees, okay? Of course, this, you know, it has to be simultaneously. This rotates one degree clockwise. This rotates two degree clockwise. So you can measure from zero up to 70 degrees, okay? So every time when you rotate, the intensity will be different, so you have to plot the graph intensity versus uh, grazing angle. 